Be sure to give these guys a check out on Facebook and Instagram. They are for the sportsmen and will go out of their way to help you out. And just by being a Spars Outdoor subscriber, you'll get many discounts using my discount codes. Hi everybody, welcome back to Spars Outdoors and this is your fish report for the week. We're going to start off down on Lake St. Clair. We're going to cover some stuff down there and then we're going to work right, our way right on up to Harbor Beach. So I'm going to try to just wrap this up kind of quick. I know I'm a couple, couple days late on the fish report. Well, we just had the holidays here. I know I've been late, but we've had a lot of stuff going on, hunting season, stuff like that. So I have hunting videos to upload. So there's a lot of stuff going on. And if you did not check out that big giveaway I did for Christmas, what an amazing giveaway that was. Two giveaways. It was awesome. Go check that video out. I'm, I'm so happy to be able to have the sponsors and have the donations and have the people I do that support this channel to be able to do giveaways like that. We got a giveaway tonight coming up. So if you see this video, no, 8 o'clock tonight, every Thursday at 8, I do a giveaway. Anyways, let's get right into the fishing report. So start off on Lake St. Clair, like I said. Anywhere that you guys are usually ice fishing, the panfish, the perch, all of it, they're there right now. So get down there and get fishing if you got access. If you only access it from the ice, get in there with a the kayak or canoe. Be stealthy. A lot of those canals ain't that deep. Even the ones that are deep, be stealthy. Get over those weed beds. You're usually getting those fish on during the ice. Fish the same way. Thumping soft plastics under a 4 millimeter tungsten or a banger hand tied jig with a spike with a thump them on there. Whatever you desire to use. I'm not going to give away all my tips and tricks because i got some bad, bad tips coming up. I can't say bad, bad tips. <laughs> I've got some really good tips that are bad to the bone coming up for you guys for ice fishing this year, and it's going to blow your mind. But anyways, uh, all the canals have panfish, have perch. Everywhere that you see people fishing first ice, you know, right there by buds, people are casting out with slip bobbers catching perch right there by the restaurant. So the old buds, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know. But they're getting a lot of perch right there. you got to pick through them. It is what it is. That Selfridge boat launch where the big perch were, they kind of moved out, but go around the corner where the canal system comes in. There's some nice fish hanging out around there, I can promise you that. Can't say you're going to catch a ton of them, but there is some nice fish there. People in their boats are still going over by the barracks, and they're still doing well. They're doing well out in 12 foot of water out there as well, out in front of Mac and Ray's. So get out there and get fishing. You can still catch a lot of fish. Go to where you usually ice fish. For the pumpkin seeds, they're going to be on those same weed beds. They're going to be in the same canals. The crappies are going to be in the same canal. Everywhere that you're normally fishing right now, them fish are right there. Get there, get fishing. If you got access, get fishing. If you don't, get in there with a kayak or a boat. But if you got a private canal or a private cut you can get on, you got access to, get out there and get fishing. You will have success, I promise you guys. Let's work our way to Harsons Island. Let's talk a little bit about that because I haven't talked about it in a while. Harsons Island right there by the teddy bear all the way down through there. We were getting those panfish after ice last year. They're getting them right now. We've been, my son I should say, has been getting some really nice perch over there. He's kind of keeping it secret where he's at because he's got permission at a little spot. Not a very big area and he's doing well on some really nice perch and I know the marina next door is full of them too because there's a guy in a boat in there that's really cranking them and he's going midday. So and, he's, and he, him and his two buddies are cranking jumbo. So all them areas over there are full of perch. They're full of perch. But the canal system that we all fished on for those panfish, them panfish are there. Just move like we did because the school moves each day. Every day the school moves. You might get them in the same spot a couple days, but they move. Beat around in there and you're going to get sunfish, bluegills, and crappies right now. Get over there and get fishing. You know, usually we, we're, we're ice fishing right now. So that's a good spot to go. If you want to go catch some fish, get over there and get fishing then I guarantee you're going to have some success. Take the kids out there. We still got some nice weather, but it's about to start dropping. Everybody said we weren't going to have a winter. We're not going to have ice. That's We are going to have ice. I promise you that. I can tell you right now by the way the deer fat is. And every year when the deer get real, we've had winters like this before. We've had a late start where it's a very late start, and then it's just got brutally cold. And the deer have a ton of fat on them, meaning that we're going to have some very cold temps to come. I promise you guys that. So we will be ice fishing. Might not get three miles out on the main lake, but we're going to hit we're, we're going to hit the canals and we're going to get out of the bay a little bit too, I promise. I, I, I can't promise for sure, but my, uh, my beliefs are we will be ice fishing. So don't listen to all the guys out there. We'll be ice fishing. Anyways, Harrison's Island's full of fish. 
Head, let's talk about the walleyes now. And we're just going to cover from Marine City right to the Blue Water Bridge. Whipping, everybody's still getting fished. They're having a little bit harder over time than they were two weeks ago. But they're getting some silverfish and, and some lake trout too mixed in. My buddy Nick got two beautiful lake trout whipping right in the daytime just south, just, just south of Black River, just by the mouth, uh, just a couple days ago. So along the boardwalks, there's lake trout. The Atlantis kind of petered out. We'll talk about that in a minute. They're up there in the harbors at Post Spawn, getting ready to head back out. But anyways, there's steelhead around. There's a lot of steelhead to catch. They're using spoons. They're using, you know, the F11s, F9 or Palos. Of course, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say use the Latham, use pink, use orange, and use green. You will do good. Use the bombers. Uh, also, Mr. Latham makes some beautiful steelhead bombers. So, uh, awesome way to catch those fish that not many people do is with minnows as well. Slide line a minnow just like you do a spoon, but run it a lot higher. Run it seven foot up. Then you can fish south of the water filtration plant down there like south of the wall by that point down there cast out with them and and slide a minnow down seven eight feet up on just a normal you know seven foot rod people use noodle rods all the time because they like to fight them but you can get away with a seven foot rod just or run a three-way swivel seven foot up cast out and then just run a long lead seven eight foot lead with just a shiner on it and you will do well on steelhead and you'll catch lake trout and walleye doing that same method so it's a great way to catch some fish now let's just head right up into the lake okay we're going to talk about lexington harbor a little bit and then we'll just cover sanilac and harbor beach like kind of together but lexington a lot of fish swimming around not a lot of fish biting but the fish that are biting are good they're steelhead they're beautiful steelhead and i know a buddy that went up through a banner hand tied jig the other day and did really well on those so steelhead are on all three harbors but lexington seems to have have quite a few steelhead biting over by the beach and off that end dock so you guys know what i'm talking about they're getting them at the boat launch too but by the beach area that's where they're that's where they're doing the best on a steelhead now up in sanilac still a lot of coho they're still catching a few cohos on the arctic spinners and stuff like that and, and spawn bags and there's still some steelhead up there they're catching and them steelhead are going to get better and better in each harbor because you catch them right during the ice right so just remember everywhere you ice fish for tar whatever you target for ice this time of year target right now the same way just it's open water so let's just head up to harbor beach because everybody's wondering about those burbot yes they are there use size two per trigs cast out inside the harbor right by that north gap where that break wall splits casting into the harbor i know a guy's been nailing them right there and then he's casting with a husky jerk on the outside of the harbor getting walleyes and he's also casting flicker shads too so a lot of good fishing going on guys you just got to get out there and you got to get fishing and enjoy this weather while you can because it's about to plummet all right and i want it to plummet because i want to be ice fishing but there's still a lot of good videos coming up. I'm sorry, like I said, this is a couple days late on the fish report, but there is some fish to catch. Get up there, get fishing. If you have not ordered no Arctic spinners, order those Arctic spinners. That is one of my go-tos when I'm harbor fishing. So, And you'll catch burbot and walleye and lake trout and everything else. The lake trout are starting to come. My beautiful daughter is talking in the background here, guys. Sorry about that. But the lake trout will bite any arctic spinner you put in front of them i promise you any color don't matter lake trout when they come in those harbors which is they're starting to show up but they're really going to show up in the next week or two and you'll catch bourbon and lakers i promise so order yourself some arctic spinners get up there get fishing stay outdoors stay active work off that holiday holiday meal i still got to work some off i got some hunting videos coming up we got two days of duck season and then we still got some goose hunting there's and, I got some awesome news coming up. Got a new camera, stuff like that. A lot of new things going to happen for this channel. Giveaways are going to get better and better. Everything, and I do giveaways every Thursday if you did not know. So make sure you hit that like and you hit that subscribe button because you have to be subscribed to be entered and, and to win my giveaways. So good luck to everybody that's on here tonight at 8 o'clock because I do them every Thursday at 8. So thanks everybody again for watching. Spars Outdoors.